Right now we have a real treat for you. Uh, some viewers that's watched our program all the way back in Salisbury, North Carolina. This is a singing trio. They have their own ministry back there singing for the glory of God over there and blessing yes. people. They, got, they sent us a DVD of some of their songs of a, of a concert that they did. We're going to take a couple of them off, put on this program right here for you today. But before they sing, what's their names? What's their names? Well, we have Carl, who would be on the right, I believe. And then we have Dawana, that's D-W-A-N-A. -A, and then we have Johnny on the left. Yeah, and before they come sing this song, though, we're going to let Carl give about a one-and-a-half-minute testimony we thought was really good, and we're going to have him do that and then sing this song right afterwards. So enjoy our first time as the Abundant Life Trio from Salisbury, North Carolina. Uh, my name is Carl Morner. Uh, I'm kind of the newest member of the group, and, and I'll, I'll introduce these others here in a minute. But I just have to give a word of testimony when I go out to sing. Thirty years ago, I was lost. And I know that's a long time ago for some of you, but it seems like just yesterday to me. I was working in, uh, in northern Ohio, and uh, as lost as I could be, I was transferred to a little town called New Orleans, Louisiana. And if you ever want to know what sin is, it's real obvious in New Orleans. And, and you know, God had a reason for sending me there, because I didn't know I was lost. I didn't know that I was a sinner. I thought, you know how you measure your, your worth, kind of, I'm better than this, better than average sort of kind of thing? I'm better than most people. That's why I thought about myself. Well, that didn't matter, you know? I needed to know that I was a sinner and lost. And when he sent me there, and that started, the Holy Spirit started to work on me. And I came under the conviction of my sin. He sent a man to be in front of me who knew and recognized because of the Spirit leading him that I was lost and shared Jesus with me. And that old Baptist preacher led me to the Lord right there in his office. And that was a wonderful day in 1977. And you know, it was, it's the kind of peace that I can't, if you don't have it, I can't explain it to you. But if you do have it, you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't have it, I hope you'll find it today because there's nothing quite like it, and it's all because of Calvary. Today I went back to the place where I used to go. Today I saw that same old crowd I knew before When they asked me what had happened I tried to tell them Thanks to Calvary I don't come here anymore Thanks to Calvary I am not the man that I used to be Thanks to Calvary Things are different than before While the tears ran down We went back to the house where we used to live. My little boy, he ran and hid behind the door. I said, son, oh, don't be afraid, because you've got a brand new daddy now. 
to Calvary. We don't live here anymore. Thanks to Calvary. I am not the Dan that I used to be. Thanks to Calvary. Things are different than before. While the tears ran down my face, I tried to tell him, thanks to Calvary, we don't live here anymore. That was First Timers, the Abundant Life Trio from Salisbury, North Carolina. Don't you think that bass singer kind of sounded like George Yonts when he was singing that song, Thanks to Calvary? Wow, what a great job. We're going to have him back a little later doing one more song on the program.